The first step is to draw the axes and indicate the origin, zero. The second step is to decide which variables are to be plotted on the axis. Since we're interested in the relationship between price and quantity demanded, we'll plot the price values P on the vertical axis and the quantity demanded, QD, on the horizontal axis. The next step is to indicate the price and quantity demanded intervals on each axis. From the table, we can see that there are seven different sets of figures, and so we indicate seven equally spaced intervals on our axes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven intervals. And the same again for the horizontal axis. Now, we plot the corresponding price and quantity of demanded values. We'll start with the price values. Moving up from the origin, our first value is one rand, followed by two rand, three rand, four rand, five rand, six rand, and of course, seven rand. And I do the same for the quantity demanded values, which start with a quantity of two, then four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. Now we can plot points that show the different price to quantity demanded combinations. According to the table, our first combination says that at the price of seven rand, the quantity demanded is two pieces of fried chicken. This combination then is represented by this point on the diagram. And we can similarly plot the rest of the combinations. When we join all of the points to form a curve and label it D, D at each end, we have created our first demand curve.